there, ACC Green Room. We're here in the new Highland Scene Shop, working on our first main stage production, The Sightless, directed by Perry Crafton. Myself, Tomas Salas, and Joe Kelly, we're gonna attempt to make, for the very first time, a marionette dog puppet. <laughs> and we're gonna try and do it out of these materials right here, just random pieces of foam that uh, came out of boxes and packing materials, uh, this old styrofoam ice chest that we had laying around. So we're, we're gonna try to spend as little money as possible and make a marionette puppet dog out of these materials right here. Cause there's one of the characters in Perry's show in Sightless is, uh, is a dog. So we had to figure out how to, can't use a real dog. So we're gonna try and make a marionette puppet dog. At this point, we had a rough outline of what we wanted in our heads, but we needed to get it down on paper so we could figure out where to go from. This is a rough sketch I did early on in the process where I outlined the different segments of the body and the different joints we need to have. Okay, I got both of my hind legs cut and I ended up using the bandsaw uh, instead of the, the, the hot knife because it was easier on the bandsaw actually. So imagine uh, that, imagine this is the body of the dog right here. And we quickly realized that the air duct that we had initially planned wouldn't work as a central spine. I'm gonna cut these circles so that we can use, make a backbone for the for our dog marionette. We need something that will be uh, flexible so his body will be able to move. And I figure if I string together several of these circles to make a, a backbone for him, that'll work. So these I'm just cutting, they're real easy to cut. So we completed construction on all four legs and it's time to start adding joints at the ankles and the knees. There was a lot of sculpting and gluing involved in this process, especially when it came to certain pieces such as the head. We had to take four long rectangular pieces of styrofoam and glue them into a bigger chunk and then carve the head after that, as you can see sitting on top of the body back there. And here is our first pass at the fully constructed dog using the pieces that we had sculpted thus far. The joints on the legs there are held together using some styrofoam safe glue and thin strips of fabric along the joint lines. We replaced those later. After we were happy with the general shape of the dog, we used that styrofoam safe glue and some thin black fabric to cover the exposed foam. We did this to avoid any potential breaks in the foam and to provide more secure tethering points for the fur. At this point, we had our friend and the performer for this puppet, Caroline Reck, come in and help us out. Caroline is the producing artistic director of Glass Half Full Theater, and she was able to use her knowledge of puppetry to adjust this puppet to suit her performance. And we'll close this out with some footage of Tomas playing around with our final version of our dog puppet. Caroline ended up naming him Bertram. Bertram has some really cool mechanical features as you're seeing showed off here in the video uh, with his mechanical ears and his mechanical mouth to give him just a little bit more of that lifelike feel. 
hear his tails wagging as well with this rigid pipe connecting it from the central cross piece down to the loose fabric just pinned on there at the end. You can check out some more Bertram along with the other puppets and the fantastic set you can see behind Tomas there when Sightless starts streaming on the ACC Digital Green Room. Coming soon. <laughs>